In this video, we'll look at a new action in Action JavaScript that allows you to uh, edit the current row in a list control in a UX component uh, by opening a pop-up uh, UX component to edit the actual row. But first, before we do that, let's look at the existing action that uh, is available f for the grid component. So you can see that we have a grid component over here and this uh, button over here is going to open up another window where we display a uh, UX component that allows us to edit the row in that record and uh, I can go here and uh, edit this record and then when I hit the submit button the uh, grid record will be refreshed so you can see if I click that and then the row in the grid is refreshed so instead of editing this row in the grid itself I'm editing this row of the grid in a UX component so the way that this was done in the grid was by going to uh, fields and then in action scripting choosing uh, this action open a UX component to edit the current record in a grid so now uh, what we're going to be showing in this video is the um, similar action that instead of editing the current row in a grid edits the current row in a list control on a UX component. So now let's switch over from a grid comp uh, from the grid here to a, uh, uh, a UX component that has a list control. So you can see here uh, here's our list control and uh, uh, in the UX component and if we go look at our list control we can see that this list is based on a SQL data source. So this particular Action JavaScript to edit the current row in the list applies to lists that are based on SQL data sources and DBF data sources. It doesn't apply to static data. So, so we have a standard list over here that is based on uh, SQL data and then we have um, two buttons here, one for edit row and one for add row. So if I go here and look at the edit row action and then bring up the uh, builder, I can see that um, the action that we've selected over here is, uh, let's go here and just um, add a new action and see, is open a UX component to edit the current record in a list control in a UX or add a new record. So this is sort of the conceptual uh, equivalent of editing the current row in the grid by using a UX component. So in this case we're editing the current row in a list in a UX component. So if we go and look at the uh, definition of this action we can see here that we've chosen the mode as edit an existing record so the other option is enter a new record and then the ID of the list that we'd like to edit is this list here called list1 so you can see that what we sh when the, in the list picker we show you what the uh, data source is because it's only meaningful to choose a list that is based on either a SQL or a DBF data source and then here's the actual name of the UX component that we'd like to use to edit the current row so if we go now and save this and then uh, go over to working preview if we for example look at um, this row here and then say edit we can see that the uh, UX component uh, is opened up. So this is a different UX component now than, than this one, but it's being used to edit this row. So I'm going to make an edit to the row and then hit the submit button. And then when I hit the submit button, you can see that the window closes and that the row in the uh, uh, list control was opened. And then if I were to go here and click the add new record, then we would be adding a new record to the uh, to the end of the list. Now the actual target um, UX component that is opened by this button, so if we go look here at this button we can see that we have a target UX component called MySQL UX Customer. So if we go look at that uh, at that component we can see that it's a standard uh, list control, a standard UX component that has um, a bunch of uh, controls and that it has been data bound to the same uh, SQL table that the uh, list control was being uh, uh, was displaying and also in the server side events in the after dialog validate we have code that saves uh, the record uh, um, back to the table so the ability to edit a row in a list control using a pop-up uh, UX component is a powerful addition thanks very much for watching